If there is one thing that has to go right this summer, it's signings. Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag, we've got to get the recruitment right. And what I'm going to do in this video, it's why I'm wearing the Ajax shirt. It's the only time I'm going to wear it, but it's such a good shirt. I got one. I wanted to wear it. I make no apologies. But look, in this video, I'm going to run through Eric Ten Hag's signings at Ajax. How many hits did he have? How many misses did he have? United have had so many misses and wasted so much money over the last like five, six, seven, eight, nine years. It can't happen this summer. We need hit after hit after hit. What's the track record of Eric Ten Hag when he was working with Mark Overmars and Edwin van der Sar? I'm going to run through that in this video for you. And if you do enjoy the video by the end of it, you know what to do. Maybe you don't. Go down there and hit the subscribe button. Join the United People's TV community. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. And then you'll become part of the community. And you can, there's also a community on Telegram. You can follow the link in the description. Thousands of reds on there. And it's really fantastic. But let's dive into this and let's go back to his first season. His first season? His first transfer window was in January. Now, Max, uh, Maximilian Weber wasn't actually signed by Eric Ten Hag. His first signing was an absolute hit. Nicolas Tagliafico, the left back from Argentina, who is still at the club there, signed. How much was he signed for? 3.6 million. Unadulterated, 100% hit on Tagliafico, a player who is still there, still playing for the club. Excellent. And that's what we need to do. It's about, it's not just about big name signings anymore, is it? It's about identifying and definitely identified him. Second on the list is Rasmus Christensen. Uh, he is a right back who now plays for RB Salzburg. It was, I wouldn't particularly put this one down as a hit, but what you'll notice throughout this video. This is probably more to do with the fact that Ajax is just a better rung football club. But whenever they sell players, look at that. Sold him for, what, is it a £400,000 loss? Eh, that's not that much. I'm going to put Christensen down as a miss. But overall, even the misses, they don't particularly lose out that much. That's what we have to do if you look at Lukaku. Spectacular miss. Paul Pogba, really, when you think about it, spent £90 million, lost him for a free. Appreciation on that is ridiculous. Angel Di Maria. There's so many misses at United, it makes me sick to think about them all. But there, with the fir first few he's made, Nicolas Tagliafico stands out as the absolute hit. Moving on to the next summer, and I'll tell you what, a lot of hits here. Lissandro Magadan, probably not one of them. The centre-back, uh, Argentinian centre-back, looks like he likes, looks like uh, Eric Ten Hag likes, trying to sign him, maybe it's an Ajax team, trying to sign um, Argentinian centre-backs. He was, uh, what happened to him? He came from Boca Juniors, but then look at the amount of loan spells that he's had. He's shifted around, and then eventually... Was he sold? Is he still out on loan? I don't even know what he's doing. But I'm going to put him down as a bit of a miss. Unlike him. Dusan Tadic. Dusan Tadic came, of course, from Southampton for 12 million. And he still is there. And he has been a staple for that Ajax team under Eric Ten Hag. Dusan Tadic and Nicholas Tagliafico, two absolute bullseye hits. And I'll tell you what, it still kind of stings me that Lynn left when he did. When did he leave? July 2018, left a 14 mil. Roughly what we paid him, no? Yeah, not too far off. Daily Blinds, an absolute bullseye hit. Still in that team. Obviously, he's in that team. He came from Ajax, didn't he? Of course he did. It was always going to be a hit. But again, if you're looking at Dusan Tadic, bang on. If you're looking at Blind, bang on. If you're looking at Tagliafico, bang on. You see, he's got some misses, though. And if we go to the next summer, there's, there's a couple of misses here. Now, Lissandro Martinez was absolutely not one of them. He, was, he joined in July, what was it, July 2019 there, as you can see. And Martinez, of course, partnered Yuri and Timber to the Eredivisie title as a centre-back. Big, big hit there. Big hit. But a pretty decent miss was Razvan Marin. He's a central midfielder uh, from Bucharest. You can see here what's gone on there. He came in from Standard Liège, loan spell. End of loan, then shipped, shipped off. Not much to say there, not particularly a hit. And that was quite a big, a big signing for them that summer. If we go back and we look here, 11 million was spent on him, which for Ajax is a substantial investment on a player, and it didn't really work out. Now, Quincy Promes, again, you can add that into the same category as Radvan Marin. I, I'm sure that there are Ajax fans that will tell me far more about Promes and the situation that's gone on and what's happened since and whether he was right or the wrong man. But... I'm going to have to put Quincy Promes down as a miss as well. But not this man. Absolutely. Was he, was he signed in the same summer? I think he was. Edson Alvarez, he absolutely was signed in the same summer. 
Alvarez signed from uh, Club America. Is it Club America? Uh, I think they're called Club America. Out in Mexico, and he is still in that team. So I'm going to put him down as a very fantastic, spectacular hit. Very fantastic, spectacular. Did I really just say that? I think that's the worst thing I've ever said in a YouTube video. And I hope, I mean, it's going to get clipped up now because I, <laughs> I pointed it out. But if we're looking at, look, Tagliafico, we can talk about Lissandro Martinez. We can talk about Dusan Tadic. We can talk about Edson Alvarez. That's four or five players who are big, big hits. And there are still more to come as well. We take a look at 2020 and 2021. Anthony, a huge hit. Signed from Sao Paulo, I believe. Yep, in July 2020. And he's gone on to become a top-level player. And Ajax will make a very, very tidy profit on him. How much did they sign him for? 14 million in July 2020. Transfer Mark has got a price down now. It's 31 million, but he'll probably go for a little bit more than that. Anthony, a definite success. Uh, if you're looking at other signings that were made that summer, I suppose the jury's kind of still out on Mohamed Goodis. Uh, central midfielder signed from Accra. Look at that. From Accra. Um, right to dream. That's ahead of a team. Woohoo. Um, he's not actually signed from Accra. Signed from Nordjylland in Denmark. If I get my flags right, and I think I did. Uh, but the jury's kind of out on him. But if you look at two more signings they made that summer, well, I say they, Eric Ten Hag made that summer. Davy Clarsen. Davy Clarsen, when he was at Everton, was just like a bang average player. How much did they pay for him? They paid 24 million. Oh, he actually, I forgot he actually left from Ajax. Came back to Ajax, what, three years later for less than half of what they sold him for and has gone on to become a very key player for that team. And then one big signing that's happened there is Sebastian Haller. And we know how many goals he scored this year. Champions League, he got like eight or nine in the group stages. He was a fantastic player and a very different type of signing for Eric Ten Hag in terms of him being a, like a target man, an out and out target man. And 20 minute, as I said, if you're looking at the grand scheme of Ajax signings, that may well actually be. Let me go and take a look through the list here. That may well be the most exciting, ex expensive signing he made. 20 million. 14 million, 14 million. Yeah, that was. So Sebastian Haller, I would definitely put down as a, as a success. And if you're looking overall here, I would probably go and say Eric Ten Hag at Ajax had about 75% hit rate in terms of good signings. We go down here, as I said, he didn't sign Woba. Christensen, I wouldn't put him down as a hit. I put Tagliafico down as a hit. Now, I can't go through every single one of these because we're here all bloody day. But just a... Just a Three or four from each season. Maybe you might then say, Sam, that's that's kind of skewing the data. I don't particularly think it's skewing the data completely because talking about most of them. Daily Blind hit. Dusan Tadic hit. Lissandra Magalan hit. Hassan Abande, I didn't mention. And I don't know much about. And the same with Zakaria Labiad. Sorry, I didn't look at every single one of them. Uh, and then up here, this is when... Mm, maybe I'm a bit, be, being a bit generous when I say 75%. Quincy Promes and Rasvan Madin mm, and Adzan Alvarez and Martinez. Two big hits. So that's a bit 50-50. We go then to the year after. We've got Sebastian Haller, Anthony, and David Clarsen. Hit, hit, hit. And I suppose when you, when you see those and when you see the season that uh, Ajax then had after that, it goes to show you how important good recruitment is. Three signings there, three great signings that all worked out, that all came and became first team players that were crucial to Ajax. And all of a sudden, they then had that Champions League campaign, unbeaten in the group stages, six wins. They went on to have a fantastic season. Nearly did the domestic double, lost to PSV in the final, but won the Eredivisie title. It goes to show you there that after a good summer, anything can happen to any club. And I think that going back and looking through these, maybe 75% is a bit generous. Maybe I'll go 60-40. Nah, 70-30. I'll go 70-30. I think that seems fair. Would you be happy with that as a, as a percentage at United? Would you be happy if 70% of the signings from Eric Ten Hag worked out and 30% didn't work out. And I'm not just talking about semi-working out. I'm talking about, look, Tagliafico still playing for them there. An absolutely fantastic signing that has 100% worked out. Daily Blind still there. Dusan Tadic still there. Really have worked out. We go to the year after. Edson Alvarez still there. Martinez still there. I say still there. It's only a couple of years later, but have, have helped build this team. And then, of course, we go to the most recent ones, which we've just done there. Success still there. Success, success. We need to get, we need to hit the bullseye far more often this. And we have to do it this summer. We have to get four signings. And I've, I know it's an unrealistic expectation when you say it out loud. But I think we need 100% this summer. 
Is that an unrealistic expectation? You can let me know in the comments. If you do your scouting properly and you profile your players properly, cash isn't the issue. Spending the cash is the issue at United. It's been the issue at United for a long, long time. But I just wanted to do this video to take a look back at all the transfer winners that have happened under Eric Ten Hag and the signings that he's made, the ones that have worked out and the ones that haven't. And largely, they have worked out. And when they have worked out, those players have become really, really crucial to this Ajax team that we saw last season, which was looking fantastic. It was fantastic in the Eredivisie. Fell short against Benfica in the Champions League, but did it in the group stages as well. How excited are you about the summer? What, is it, what do you think this video helps you understand about Eric Ten Hag in the transfer market? And of course, Overmars was a big part of that. Van Nassar was a big part of that. Let's see what goes on with John Murto, with what, Andy O'Boyle now, I suppose. You let me know what you think in the comments below. But what do you think, what, what's going to be our hit rate this summer? What percentage and how confident are you that our transfers and our recruitment are going to turn around? Because if he's going to be a success, Eric Ten Hag, it has to start with a good, a great summer from United in the transfer market, as far as I'm concerned anyway. You can let me know. And as I said, quite like this shirt. Wish United had a shirt this night. Wear it all the time.